Hello my YouTube friends, today's video is sponsored by OWN, but I'll tell you more about that later. Live streaming to Twitch can seem pretty complicated. You need fancy software and the setup and the audio and well, it can seem like a lot, but it really is pretty easy. Today I'm going to walk you through how to be up and streaming on Twitch in about 10 minutes with OBS. So you know what? Let's get to it! Likes and comments are an easy thing that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, why not subscribe? It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. I'm gonna start off assuming that you already created a Twitch account. If not, it's not that hard. Just go to the site and follow along with the sign up process. And it doesn't take a lot of time. Now we're gonna set up OBS to stream to our new Twitch account. And make sure you installed OBS if you don't have it already this is going to be the software that we use to stream with it's totally free and there are links in the description down below so here we are in obs and the first thing we're going to do is go up to profile and we're going to go to new and we're just going to name our profile twitch we do not want to check this we want to leave it off and click ok that creates an all new settings for us so now we just have to go down to the right under controls and click settings and the first thing we're going to do is go to stream and we'll go ahead and we're going to click right here on connect account and this is going to take us to our twitch login so all we have to do is just go ahead and log in to our twitch account and if you set up two-factor authentication which you should it will send a token to your phone or your email you just get that token and you go ahead and submit it and now our twitch account is set up next I'm gonna go into the output tab and I'm going to change it from simple to advanced and before we get started in there I'm gonna pop over here to the video tab and this is where we're going to set up the resolution that we're gonna stream at so so we'll pop over to this web page here and the link is in the description and this gives us the settings for everything that we need to set up in OBS depending upon what kind of stream we want to have. So we're going to set up a 1080 60 frames per second stream. I'm going to show you how to do it if you have an Nvidia graphics card or if you don't and you're just using X264. All the information is right here on this web page. So we'll flip back over into OBS and we're going to go with 1920 by 1080. We want to make sure that the base and the output are both set the same. Then we're going to go ahead and change our frames per second to 60 frames per second and now we're in good shape what we'll do is go over to output and we can start setting everything up so we'll start with x264 and the bitrate for 1920 by 1080 is 6,000 kilobits per second we can flip back over here and verify everything else CBR is our rate control and we want the uh, two seconds keyframes very fast to medium so we'll just go over here again we'll set it to two very fast and our looks like our profile here needs to be either main or high so we'll set that to high and now x264 is configured if that's the way we decide to go now if we wanted to do the invic side it's really simple we just go up here in our encoder we select invic and we know our bit rate is still going to be 6000 and we have it set to quality or max quality and this says quality is just fine it wants two b frames and two second keyframe intervals so we can just set all that stuff up next i'm going to flip over into audio and i just want to set my monitoring device to however i'm going to be listening to the audio from the computer on my stream so it doesn't feed back into my microphone so if i'm going to be playing a game or something i'm going to want to have headphones you set your monitoring device to those headphones and you're good to go and once everything's good you just click apply and then OK and it actually automatically loads up these docks right here so they're free floating and we have to go ahead and mount them somewhere and you kind of got to play with this especially if you're using a multi monitor setup I usually like to kind of lay them over the top and then they just pop in there and that gives you the ability to go ahead and move them around and dock them on the side if you want but you kind of got to play around with these but once they're docked in there now you're gonna have your stream chat built right into OBS it makes it really easy to see and less windows when you're live streaming makes life a lot easier After after the settings are all done, you could opt to use today's sponsor to get you started really quickly. Here's what OWN can do for you. OWN is a website that offers anything a Twitch streamer could possibly want. On OWN.TV, there are thousands of overlay packs with alerts and stingers built in, as well as emotes and badges, and like I said, just about everything you could want. But what really excites me is the OWN Pro site. On OWN Pro, you download a plugin for OBS, and in OBS, you can browse and select from thousands of overlay packs that download and are set up completely right out of the gate in OBS. You can add a 
alerts and labels and modify the text and even create custom layouts in just a few minutes. And they all have custom stingers that are set up with the profile so you don't have to do anything. You just download them and they're ready to go. In just a few minutes, you're gonna have a professional stream that looks like you spent a million bucks. The best part is for just a few bucks a month, and I mean less than that crappy Netflix subscription you never use anyways, you're gonna have access to every single one. So you could change it up on every stream in just a few minutes if you really wanted to. So take a second and check out Own TV and Own Pro down below there are links in the description for each one. If you have the means to support the sponsors that support this channel, it goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Just want to set something up for yourself? No problem. Let's design a little stream in OBS so we can go live. So we want to make sure that we are still on the Twitch profile. Then we're going to go into scene collections and we're going to drop that down and we're going to create a new one. We're just going to call this Twitch. Click OK. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to name this scene and we're just going to call this one waiting. And I'm going to click the plus under sources and I'm just going to add a color source. And we'll just call this color source what it is. This is gonna be red. And I'm gonna click my color here and we're gonna set it. I guess it's a little more like orange, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna add another color source here and we'll call this one blue. Click okay. And I'm gonna select my color again, maybe kind of a lightish blue and click okay. And there we go. And I'm just gonna size this up and put it close to the center. All we have to do if we really wanna center this up is we can right click on it and go to transform and then select center to screen and it puts it right in the middle. Then I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna go to my GDI text tool and we'll call this text starting soon and click okay. And you can go in here and select your font. Any font that you have loaded on your machine will show up in here. And then I just like to select basically the largest size that it has here, which is 72 and we'll see what that looks like. For text, I'm just gonna type out my text, stream starting soon. And I'm gonna format the text on two different lines. So I think I'm gonna put soon on the second line, remove the space and then click enter. So it is on a second line now and my text isn't big enough so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a custom size right there we'll try 200 and I'm gonna make it all uppercase which is good and we want to align center there we go. So now the soon is aligned directly under it. Let's move this over here and get it all centered up. And now I'm just gonna adjust the text to make it look like how we want. And we only have to do this once, we're just gonna duplicate it. So we can add background color if we use this slider and we can change that color if we want to, but that's not what we're looking for. I'm gonna change the color of our text here. And let's go for, uh, let's see, maybe a yellowish color. And I'm gonna add a gradient. So we'll add a second color to this. And we'll go with that kind of orangish color, I think. That'll work. So now we have a gradient. We can adjust the way that this gradient interacts with our text by just using this slider here and it'll rotate around. I'm just gonna kind of set it like that. And I wanna put an outline on this text. And I'm gonna select the color right here. And we're just gonna make this outline black, make it a little bit more visible. And we'll adjust the outside box size on this. Just click in this up arrow here. And there we go. I think we have our text the way we want it. We can just click OK and center it up. And we'll square this box up again and go to transform and center it. And then we can right click on the text and we can go ahead and go to transform and center that. So now we have it completely centered on the screen. It looks pretty good. We'll add one more embellishment. I'm gonna click the plus. I'm gonna go to media source. I'm gonna call this media source animation. Click OK. And then I'm just gonna browse to a media file. It doesn't really matter. Just any video file will work for this. What you're really trying to do is just add a little bit of depth and animation to the back. And I'm gonna resize it up and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna go to transform and we're gonna center it. And we'll move it down below our colors. We want it above the red. There we go. And now we can hold down the Alt key and we can adjust a little bit of this edging just to make sure that it squares up properly. We'll right click on it, we'll go to transform again and we'll center it and there we go. So that's the basics of all of our hold screens and we're just gonna duplicate that by right clicking and going to duplicate and we'll call our duplicate of this be right back and click okay and 
now all we need to do is go and select starting soon and I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna right click down here and paste duplicate and there we go we'll just delete the original and we'll right click on here and go into our properties and we just change the text since this is our be right back scene we'll just write be right and then hit the enter key put back on the second line here and that looks pretty good just click OK and we can just resize this and put it in the center and now our be right back scene is all ready to go so what I'm gonna do is right click on our be right back scene and we're gonna duplicate that and we'll just call this stream has ended click OK for the stream has ended scene we're gonna do exactly the same thing in duplicate that we just did for the be right back scene so just duplicate it and change the text no need for me to show you again now we just need to set up our game screen and our chat screen so I'm gonna click the plus down here to create another scene and we're gonna call this one chat and I'll click OK and then I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and we're going to add a video capture device it already selects our camera so I'm just gonna go down here and select custom and make sure the resolution is set properly I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and what we want to do is click on this box to select custom audio and I'm gonna select the proper microphone and click OK and now we have a microphone in here I can just shrink down my camera put it up here in the top left and I'm gonna click the plus and go to color source and I'm gonna select add existing and I'm gonna select our red color source and I'm gonna move it below my camera then I'm gonna click the plus and go to media source I'm gonna go to add existing and then add the animation and click OK and I'm just gonna shrink this up and just resize it until it fits right behind I'm gonna hold down the alt key and crop up the one edge right here and we'll slide it behind the camera and there we go now we have a little bit of depth and camera animation there I always like how that looks now I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to color source once again this time I'm gonna add our blue box and I'm just gonna grab it and shrink it up to this size here and here I'm using the arrow keys to move it around you can make slight little adjustments with the arrow keys then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this bottom point I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna stretch this all the way down to the bottom of our scene and that looks pretty good now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into another scene and I'm gonna copy the text out I'm gonna go back into our chat scene right click and I'm gonna paste a duplicate of our regular text because we want all our text to look the same then I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call it chat and of course that name is already in use so I'm gonna right click it and I'm going to rename it something else We'll just call it the chat box. That works. I'm gonna right click on it, go to properties, and then I'll just change the text so it says chat and click OK. And now I'm gonna place it over our box here and resize it up so it is about the size that we want to use. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna right click and copy our text again and I'm just going to paste a duplicate of that. I'm gonna right click it and duplicate it again. Then I'm gonna right click and rename the first one. We'll call this Twitter. And I'll right click and rename our second one. We'll call this Facebook. And then I'm gonna right click, go to properties and just change chat to Facebook and click OK. I'm gonna do the same thing with our Twitter here. Right click on it, go to properties, change it from chat to Twitter and click OK. And now I'm gonna drag these down here and there we go. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just duplicate these one more time. I'm gonna right click on Twitter and go to copy. Then I'm gonna right click on Twitter and we're gonna go to paste duplicate. And I'm just going to select my duplicate, go to properties and I'm gonna put in my Twitter handle here click OK and we'll just move this out here a little bit and I'm gonna do the same thing with our Facebook I'm gonna right click on it and copy it then I'm gonna right click on it and duplicate it right click on the duplicate and go ahead and change it to my Facebook handle and then just move these out to where they're supposed to be now I'm going to select our blue panel and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and I'm gonna go ahead and right click in the box and paste a copy of it and I'm gonna resize this up using the shift key and all those kind of things so now we can see our text down here a little bit better and all we have to do is adjust it up real quick and we're all set with our chat screen now what I'm gonna do is create a game screen so I will click the plus in scenes call this one game click OK and then I'm just gonna click the plus under sources we're gonna add our video capture device we'll add existing and just use the one we already have and shrink it up down here to the bottom left then I'm gonna click the plus again and we're going to go to game capture and I'm gonna put lost arc in here so I'll just name it 
that and click OK. And I don't need to change anything here. It's going to grab the full screen app as soon as it comes up. And there it is. I started it up and it just appears right in our screen. But we don't have any audio for it yet. So I'm going to click the plus under sources. We're going to go to audio output capture and I'll just call it game audio. Then I just need to drop down the device so that I can select where I'm listening to my audio. In this case on my headphones. That's where the Lost Ark audio is coming from. And I can select OK and we can see down here that we have our game audio. Really awesome stuff. The last thing I need to do is I'm going to select color source. I'm going to add an existing and we'll just select that blue box and I'm going to shrink it up and put it underneath my camera. Give that a little bit of camera depth and there we go. Now we can just switch in between our scenes and it looks great. All you really need to do to go live is click that start streaming button over on the bottom right under controls and you're live on Twitch. It's that easy. It's so easy. In just a few minutes, you can be live. If you want to learn how to create your own custom transitions, you should definitely check this video out. Big thanks to the channel sponsors. There are links below in the description so you can check them out. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.